Got another ammo test for you today, this time from an AR-15. Now there's some debate over whether an AR-15 is a suitable home defense weapon or not, whether you should just go straight to a shotgun. Uh, I think there's a lot of merit in both sides of the argument, but the real question comes down to what kind of ammo are you using in the AR-15? Because if you're using, you know, military ball ammo, that's not necessarily uh, the most effective stopping round. So Lehigh Defense has sent me some of their new controlled chaos bullets. Now, controlled chaos sounds interesting. Uh, the idea that they've got here is that they've got actually three aspects to this bullet. They've got a hardened outer jacket over a hollow point. Then they've got, once that this hits some soft material, it will open up and it'll fragment into little tiny shrapnel. And then the third stage is a solid core base, which will continue penetrating on and will hit, you know, deep, deep into the target. This is supposed to not only create the temporary cavity that most rifle bullets do, but by sending in the fragmenting pieces, it's going to rip and shred the flesh or the gel while that temporary cavity is expanding. So that could be very nasty. But then on top of that, it's supposed to get the penetration because it has this solid core base, which they use a flat wad cutter profile on that, which should be a pretty uh, impressive penetrating wound. So we're gonna give this a try. We're gonna use genuine 10% ordnance gelatin on this round. And uh, I know that a lot of tests I've seen people uh, tape the gel down, you know, to keep it from flipping off the table. What's the fun in that? You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it go and we're gonna see how much impact it actually has on the gel and how effective this round could and should be. I've cut away the gel to get to just the relevant parts. As you can see, this is four inches. So this, this the diameter of the cavity of damage is four inches and maybe even a little more because it's cut open here, but four inches high and a little over 10 inches deep before the fragmentation stops. And we had the core, the, the base of the bullet, the core of the bullet continued on exiting this block and went into the next one. But the, the chaos portion is four inches in diameter and about 10 inches wide. And you can see it may actually have been a slight bit wider than that because this is blown completely open. This is, this is the way I found the gel. I didn't do this. That is just completely ripped open. Give me another angle of it here so you can see this tremendous damage cavity that's going on. And try overexposing here so you can see a little more clearly how it is just totally ripped to shreds all throughout there. And now we're gonna go ahead and slice it right in the middle of that damage track. So you can see what this controlled chaos bullet did. That's, that's all permanent damage. That was done by the bullet. In addition to the damage that the penetration of the core would have accomplished, so right here doesn't count. That's a calibration BB, so that doesn't count. But the rest of that is just straight up tissue destruction caused by this Lehigh control case. Look at that, it's ripping, say, all the way through This is just very destructive projectile. Let's see how deep the damage goes. If you start pulling this apart, let me just rip that in half here. This is that permanent damage cavity. And you can see there's little flecks 
of shrapnel all throughout. So when the, when the stretch cavity stretched up, it didn't just get to immediately collapse because then these fragments went in and cut it while it was stretched, thus exaggerating the amount of damage that's done here. But this is, this is really significant. The base of the Lehigh controlled chaos penetrated to 22 and a quarter inches. These are recovered fragments from the Lehigh controlled chaos. We have the base here, which basically turned into a 22 LR with incredible penetration. It was over 22 inches. And then we have the fragments that went to really shred that uh, temporary stretch cavity and turn it into a, a much bigger permanent cavity. We have about 10 grains of fragments and about 24.6 grains of base. So in total, I recovered 34.9 grains. Um, the start of the bullet was 45, so that means we lost over 10 grains due to fragmentation in there. I know it's kind of like, uh, you know, Thunderdome. 45 grains enter, 35 grains leave. But it definitely did a very effective job. And this little base here, penetrating over 22 inches, uh, that's over penetration. I'd be a little concerned about that. I'd like for it to have stayed below 18, but that will definitely penetrate deep enough to cause a fatal hit on, on anyone who's unlucky enough to get hit by that. So you really have two wounding mechanisms here. You've got a very deep penetrating full metal jacket and you have a huge temporary stretch cavity which converts into a huge permanent stretch cavity because of the way the fragments shred it along the way and make that damage permanent and bigger than it would otherwise have been. What more can you ask for? I mean, if you're talking about little AR-15, little Remington 223. I mean, this isn't a 308 or something that we're shooting. This is the little 223, and that was an absolutely devastating performance. It picked the gel block up and threw it end over end, and that's 20 pounds. So you got to think that if someone was hit by this, they're going to have a tremendous impact. They're going to feel it. Uh, Lehigh, I asked him about this bullet, you know, what makes this different from other rounds like the PDX-1, and they explained that the barrier penetration is tremendously superior with, with the way that their hardened core up front works, that it will cause that same massive fracturing even after barrier penetration. So for law enforcement, this is maybe a more suitable round, but for home defense, I would have no qualms of defending my home with Lehigh's uh, controlled chaos bullet. I think it would be very effective in that circumstance. I just do want to make you aware that, you know, it can over penetrate. And if, if you're really concerned about the idea of over penetration, it may do so. So just be aware of that. But overall, fantastic performing round. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. I've got more ammo tests coming up all the time. And you can also check in on the blog for all sorts of articles about terminal ballistics and, and why we do what we do when we're looking for how a bullet should perform. So hit subscribe and thanks again.